Hey, my tech friends, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's continue to grow this channel. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys, so what's our take on the integral system for Windows XP? I think at this point we've pretty much proven that the developer likely built this thing off of a older configuration. And in doing so, he's probably had a hybrid of variety of configuration elements into allowing these packages to actually work or function correctly on XP. This is not an easy task. And I would go as far as saying that if you have a chance to go to a site to actually buy him a coffee, donate to him so that way he can continue on this project. Because while it's not my cup of tea, from a security standpoint, it's not something that I would ever use. I do see the validity in it. I do see the value in this. And I do think that from a uh, future standpoint, of you younger guys, you uh, Gen Zers and um, Millennials, if you want to continue on using these older systems and continue on the process of enjoying things like Windows XP and 2000 and later hardware, where the manufacturers have really done whatever they could to lock you out of the functionality or the ability to run these operating systems, it's people like this guy here that make that difference that will allow you to continue to run that system into the future. So I don't get any kickback from this video, and I'm not looking for anything for, for that. But what I'm saying to you guys is that from a security standpoint, as a systems engineer, I can tell you that I don't find any value in this package just because it doesn't really have the security in place. But that doesn't mean that won't happen in the future. That doesn't mean that this developer won't eventually fix that package and roll out something that you would want to put on a system that faces the Internet. So I do want to point out a couple things that I did see inside the chats here. Specifically from here. That there's answers to the questions that exist in these two locations. Now I have the tabs open up top here. We could go through that stuff in a few minutes here. But if we scroll down and we look at the stuff as far as the mitigation is concerned. And I do appreciate whoever put this stuff out here. I don't know who you guys are based off of one login name to the next but I do appreciate it because it's really helped grow the channel. But specifically down here, this oh boy Gen Z guy. <laughs> uh, all right, so just to give you guys a little background as to who I am. I'm a Microsoft systems engineer. I had my Microsoft certification in Windows NT and in Windows 2000. I'm a Microsoft certified master in directory services and structures in 2008 R2. I've been doing the Microsoft stack and configuration since NT4 and even before that in DOS. So when I first started, there was no GUI. Everything was command line and logic, which was based off of a Unix system or in a lot of cases, uh, DOS. Uh, I was part of the tech support scene when Windows XP was in beta. Um, when Windows 2000 was in beta. So I'm not a Gen Z. I do appreciate it. I really wish I was. Uh, you guys that are just starting out in this field, man, you guys have so, you have 20 years more that you could spend in this uh, technology realm. And you'll see things that I'll be dead before I get to see them, but you'll see them in your generation and they'll be amazing. I, 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 I'm super jealous of you guys. But yeah, in, in reality, Gen Z is likely my, my children's age. Um, again, assuming I had kids, which, you know, I, I didn't. So I, I decided instead of kids, I wanted Porsche. So I have Porsche instead of children. But if I had children, they would be Gen Z. With that said, I still want to give a shout out to this guy, Ramsey, whoever he is, because he's the one that's really controlling the updates in this actual properties and the, the process here to get things rolling and to answer the questions based off of the configuration. So, Cheers to you, whoever you are, man. I, I get it. Much respect from the uh, systems engineer side. So one of the things that uh, Ramsey replied back with specifically is the step-by-step -step process and procedure to actually fix that admin account and remove that from the uh, automatically being connected and configured. Now that account not being uh, added would resolve the issue that we found in multiple videos, which is that that null value would take place in our registry configuration for our um, for our SMB access. He gives you all the information here specifically on how to remove that with the HKML uh, locations for the uh, 
for your registry commands in order to fix that. That might be something that one of you guys want to put together a script and add it to the actual page. So that way, if somebody wants to follow that, so that way they don't get that null value, that would be a good first step. So if you continue on here, he goes into uh, the details for the OE classic look on Windows XP and then the performance impact that the changes in the GUI actually have and whether or not that's something that he sees a value in changing for the performance aspect of the thing. Again, I know that there's been people inside the chat that have complained about the performance aspect of this integral edition. And quite frankly, if you just change it to uh, classic mode and disable um, all the performance, uh, you know, the arrow look, you'll get the performance back regardless of whether or not he does anything here. Um, but again, just for the sake of this video, I would tell you to go check out his page. I'll definitely put this link down inside the um, uh, body, the description of this video, so that way you guys can take a look at it. But I want to do, I, I really do want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and say that the issues that we're running into are just problems due to the development role required in order to get these packages to work correctly with a mixed match of different Windows XP environmental variables. And again, not something vindictive. And based off of the information that he has on his site and the updates that he's given, I would go as far as saying that I doubt that these are vindictive. They really just seem like, hey, you know, this is what it was required in order for us to get package A and package B to work was to change these settings. But like all good projects, eventually you got to like start over and just import your configurations and get things to work with the later patch revisions so that way you get some form of security or in reality, maybe just put a big warning banner sign across the top that this particular operating system is designed for people who are enthusiasts to play games on and not the type of operating system you're going to want to run as a primary OS in 2024. So in closing, I really just want to give a shout out to uh, Ramsey. Thank him for uh, allowing him me to uh, continue to uh, troubleshoot and uh, improve his systems by providing feedback as well as uh, the rest of the people that are on here that actually support this channel and the people who support the actual uh, Windows XP Integral Edition. Again, hook him up with a coffee, buy him something, send him some cash so he can continue to build out this infrastructure. As I have a feeling, given enough time, this will actually be something that is uh, super valuable, especially as hardware progresses and we, it becomes more and more difficult for us to run this, these older operating systems. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking around through this process. Hopefully the next series of videos is just as helpful. All right, guys, take care.